The 1st Panzer Division was a mechanized division within the German Army throughout World War II. Established in 1935, the division was among the original three tank divisions formed by Germany. It played a role in the pre-war occupations of Austria and Czechoslovakia, as well as the invasions of Poland in 1939 and Belgium and France in 1940. From 1941 to 1945, the division was actively engaged on the Eastern Front, with a brief hiatus in 1943 when it underwent refurbishment in France and Greece. Ultimately, at the war's conclusion, the division surrendered to U.S. forces in Bavaria. The 1st Panzer Division was established on October 15, 1935, emerging from the reorganization of the 3rd Cavalry Division. Its headquarters were situated in Weimar, and it was one of three tank divisions formed during this period, the 2nd and 3rd Panzer Divisions being the other two. Earlier in the same year, Germany had officially abandoned the Treaty of Versailles, which, among other restrictions, prohibited the country from possessing tank forces. However, Germany had been clandestinely developing tanks and running a covert tank school in the Soviet Union, in violation of the treaty. Initially, the division comprised two panzer regiments organized into a brigade, a motorized infantry brigade, a reconnaissance battalion, a divisional artillery regiment, and additional supporting units. The division's arsenal included the light panzer, iron panzer II tanks, with the more potent panzer III Alpha A, making its debut for testing by November 1937. The initial deliveries of the panzer for Ausf are started around the same time, with the latest batches arriving by June 1938. Although the Panzer I saw significant use in Poland in 1939, the division still relied on its Panzer II tanks in 1941. In 1938, the 1st Panzer Division played a role in the Anschluss of Austria and the occupation of the Sudetenland. Subsequently, it participated in the invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1938 and 1939, marking its early engagements. In September 1939, the division was actively involved in the invasion of Poland, reaching the outskirts of Warsaw within eight days. Following the capture of Warsaw, the division was reassigned to support the 18th Infantry Division before returning to Germany in November 1939, following Poland's surrender. During May 1940, the 1st Panzer Division contributed to the invasion of France, Luxembourg and Belgium. It played key roles in the battles of Sedan and Dunkirk before turning south to join the attack on the Weygand Line. Advancing towards the Swiss border, the division occupied Belfort before France's surrender. Remarkably, the division sustained relatively low casualties during the Battle of France, with just under 500 men killed in action. Remaining stationed in France until September 1940, the division was subsequently relocated to East Prussia. It contributed significant units to the newly formed 16th and 18th Panzer Divisions. From June 22, 1941, the division participated in Operation Barbarossa, crossing the former German-Lithuanian frontier as part of Army Group North and the 4th Panzer Group. Engaged in intense combat, by mid-August, only 44 of the 155 tanks it had initially deployed with remained in serviceable condition. The division continued its advance toward Leningrad until early October when it was transferred to Army Group Center to partake in the push towards Moscow. Despite advancing within 32 kilometers, 20 miles, of Moscow, the division was compelled to retreat during the Soviet counterattack. In early 1942, the 1st Panzer Division played a role in defending the Reshev salient. Initially facing a shortage of tanks, the division predominantly fought as infantry until resupplied in the spring. Positioned at the center of the Eastern Front, it was tasked with defending the supply lines of the 9th Army, enduring heavy casualties during the winter of 1942-43 against repeated Soviet assaults. In January 1943, the division was transferred back to France for refitting after months in northern France. However, in June 1943, it was redirected to occupied Greece due to the perceived threat of an Allied landing. Contrary to expectations, the landing occurred in Sicily. The division then participated in disarming Italian forces in Greece, when Italy defected from the Axis in September 1943. Returning to full strength in October with the addition of Panther tanks, 
the division promptly returned to the Eastern Front. Engaged in the southern sector of the Eastern Front, the 1st Panzer Division served alternatively within the 1st and 4th Panzer Army as an emergency force. Constantly shifted to crisis locations as the German front lines retreated, the division participated in battles at Kiev, Jitomir, and Jerkasy. Despite attempting to break through to the cauldron in the latter battle, the division fell just short. By March 1944, it had dwindled to just over 25% of its nominal strength. Retreating further west, the division became part of the Kamenets Podolski pocket and, from there, engaged in the defense of eastern Poland and Hungary. It played a role in defensive operations around Lake Balaton and joined the unsuccessful attempt to break through to the siege of Budapest, sustaining heavy losses once again. In the final month of the Second World War, the division defended Styria. It then retreated westwards to surrender to US forces instead of Soviet ones, successfully crossing the demarcation line between the two. The division surrendered on May 8, 1945, in southern Bavaria and most of its soldiers were released from captivity soon after. The commanders of the 1st Panzer Division during different periods were as follows. The 10th of January, 1935 to the 30th of September, 1937, General der Cavalerie Maximilian von Weichs. The 10th of January, 1937 to the 2nd of November, 1939, General Lieutenant Rudolf Schmidt. The 2nd of November, 1939 to the 17th of July, 1941, General Lieutenant Friedrich Kirchner. The 17th of July, 1941 to the 1st of January, 1944, General Lieutenant Walter Kruger. The 1st of January, 1944 to the 19th of February, 1944, General Major Richard Cole. The 19th of February, 1944 to the 25th of September. 1944, General Major Werner Marx. The 25th of September, 1944 to the 8th of May, 1945, General Lieutenant Eberhard Thunet. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.